We were in North Knoxville, um, so real close to Fountain City, very close to downtown. And I've got this beautiful <laughs> home. It was at one point. Um, check out those dormers uh, and just time and, 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 you know, lack of care is kind of let this thing go away but i can definitely see the potential and this this one bringing in high dollars if somebody had the the time um and budget to renovate it but it needs everything every single thing really what a, you're getting from this one is the style of the home the big lot and you actually have an additional lot that comes with it right there so the potential of building something um, I think it's a little bit overpriced for what they got. I think they have it at 175 right now, um, which, you know, anything under 200 is pretty competitive. Um, however, this one you'll see here in a moment, um, the previous owners <clears throat> or current owners had kept a lot of things, personal items in the property. Um, so going through and taking it out and actually assessing the quality of um, the floors and the walls and stuff. <clears throat> so this is built in 1920. Uh, you got the nice tall ceilings, the fireplaces, the built-ins and stuff that make it just have a lot of charm. But you also have plaster walls that are a little bit more to, difficult to work with. Um, and yeah, you can see kind of through here that it has a lot of, um, work that needs to be done um, the kitchen is probably one of the worst areas it looks like there was a leak through here <clears throat> and yeah it's just got a bunch of stuff you can kind of see the video is going to tell you um, pretty much what kind of condition it's in let's see just be careful walking through here you'll probably need to hire Dunright Holloway get a few dumpsters over here and, uh, and then have them get a crew. Unfortunately, some animals have passed away in here. Um, hopefully, it's salvageable, but I can see where someone might say bulldoze it. I just love the charm and location of this house. Um, with that said, you know, it is going to be a considerable renovation. So it, you can imagine it needs structural. Um, make sure that there's any kind of termites or anything you're taking care of and then obviously hauling off any of the trash so i'm just kind of giving you an idea of the space one good thing is it doesn't smell like it's full of mold i'm sure there is some kind of growth or some point maybe because it's in the colder months right now but um, that is a good thing <clears throat> I'm try to check out the area up here old clawfoot tub the ceilings are very short up here i don't know if this is actually usable space in the long run um i'm they're probably about five foot eight or something yeah they're very short so maybe better just for storage go back out here check out the outside that's kind of you get a lot of the charm of this property but it needs a lot more in the exterior work as well so you kind of see on here's that extra lot through here and here's the side of the house we'll walk around looks like they had a nice garden this will give you an idea of the neighborhood lots of old craftsman homes that are just beautiful and they're not making houses like this anymore maybe that's kind of why i'm partial to this style um I do recognize it is uh, a lot of work for somebody so this will give you an idea of the space <clears throat> nice level yard that's kind of unheard of in east tennessee as well some power line concerns yeah, and you can imagine that whole wall will probably need to be reframed and stuff get rid of some trees and 
some other things. If you're interested in taking on a big project, like I said, it's uh, maybe the charm is getting to me on this one, but I think it has a ton of potential. Um, when these houses are fixed up, you know, they go for top price because they are so iconic. I'll just show you those dormers again. Really cool look. Um, but if you don't have my contact information, you can call or text me at 865-323-9675.